Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and today I am showing you a toddler fall clothing haul. I placed several orders of clothes for my 28 month old. Um, so he's between two and three and he was just growing out of a lot of his like 18 to 24 month even some of his 2T, so I mostly sized up in all this stuff to like a 3T. I like clothes to be a lot baggier on him, and uh, our style, I guess, is like I want him to be stylish, like I don't buy a lot of super like kid-ish clothing, like a lot of it is plain and basic. I placed a large order from Zara. It's my first time ordering online. Um, I usually just go into a store here that carries the kids stuff and pick up a few pieces, but I placed a fairly large order to kind of like um, put like the basics together of his wardrobe. I also placed an order from the company called Whistle and Flute. I also placed an order from Gap and Old Navy and another small Canadian clothing shop called My Mila and I'll show you guys my plans for a fall boot and a couple staples in his wardrobe that are still going to work for him going into fall and winter. I live in Canada, the climate is quite cold so a lot of this clothing is not just like fall, it will work into the winter and like the t-shirts and stuff, obviously he'll be able to wear like next summer. And if you didn't already know, I did a video recently with a pregnancy announcement. I am five months pregnant with baby number two, but everything in this haul is for my two-year-old. I haven't really started buying any baby stuff yet. Uh, we still don't know the gender, so I am just going to wait for that. And then if it's a boy, obviously he can use a lot of hate and stuff. Um, but yeah, so everything in this haul is for my two-year-old. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I will start with the Gap and Old Navy stuff. This is stuff that I ordered online. I got this short sleeve denim shirt and I got this in a size three. I think it will be cute with black pants, even like some colored joggers. Uh, and it's just like something that can be dressed up or worn casually. And two basic t-shirts. This one is just white with navy dinosaurs on it. Hayden is quite into dinosaurs right now, so that should be a hit with him. And then just a plain charcoal gray t-shirt. My favorite place to buy pajamas is Gap and Old Navy. Gap ones tend to be a little bit softer, um, but they seem to have really low stock lately on their pajamas. I keep trying to watch the website. They did just drop some, so I'm waiting for a sale. I never buy them regular price. I always get them like 30 to 50% off. So I ordered two pairs of pajamas. These ones are Old Navy. They say bedtime or bust and the pants look like that. I'm ordering all threes for pajamas lately. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try fours just because I want them to last a long time and I want him to be comfy. And I got these ones as well from the Gap. And yeah, the Gap ones just tend to be quite a bit softer, but it also just like depends on the design. Sometimes the Gap ones aren't even soft, but this pair is quite soft. And it's cute because it has a little like Henley buttons. And the bottom are pants as well. That's mostly what we buy because we live in a cold climate. And the last thing I picked up in store, I couldn't find this on the Canadian site uh, online. I could only find it in store. It is a jean jacket with sweatshirt arms. And then the hood has these little dinosaur spikes. I ended up buying this in a size 4 and I like couldn't decide like the 3 just looked so small in the store and I was like well I could just go up a size and it should be fine for like even longer so it is big on him and a little bit baggy but we'll just roll up the sleeves and he'll be able to wear it for hopefully a couple years. 
and I showed this to him already and he thinks it's so cool. He's like, I wanna wear dino jacket. I wanna wear dino jacket. Scary dinosaurs. So that's what I got from Gap and Old Navy for Hayden. Next thing I will show you guys is the whistle and flute stuff. I think they're an Australian brand. I'm not 100% sure. But um, I've never ordered from them before. He's never had anything whistle and flute before. Um, I was kind of waiting for him to like, you know, not grow out of things as quickly. So now that he's like two, he'll be wearing the same size for like probably a year. Like I ordered these in a three. Um, they had a deal where it was like a pack of their mystery shirts so I didn't know exactly what designs I was getting but they were it was $60 for four shirts which is a good deal for that line so I got four of their shirts and these were the designs a heather gray one with rainbow and then a dark gray one with a llama a heather gray one that says wash your hands 2020 which is so cute and fitting and then a dark gray one with just some leaves on it so I'm really happy with this I like all the designs we will get wear out of all of them so obviously it's a risk ordering something that's like a mystery pack but I think it was definitely a good buy I also picked up some of their shorts for next summer um we don't like Hayden maybe has like I don't know five pairs of shorts that he wears regularly um we don't get that many hot days I don't know how many more I'll pick up for next summer but these were on sale on their website so I figured why not I tend to size down in shorts so I just like that style so these are a one to two years I got a striped one they're like a bamboo fabric, very soft. And then I got two other ones. So just a plain black pair. I think like a shorter, sh shorter short just looks cute on little guys. And I got these little like athletic shorts. And then the next three items are from a Canadian shop called My Mila. Uh, I had a t-shirt from them before and it is so soft and it has washed so nice and like worn really nice. It's just one of his like softest t-shirts. So I checked their website. They were having a little bit of a sale. So I grabbed two t-shirts, one in a charcoal gray, which I know I already have a charcoal gray, but we'll get wear out of it. And then a black and white striped top. They're just so soft and like a stretchy material. And then I got him a yellow kind of mustard pair of joggers. We tend to put him in just a lot of like soft, comfy clothing, nothing like he has a couple pairs of jeans, but we don't even put him in them that often. Usually it's like joggers or something. I just want him to be comfy and stylish. Okay, so that leads us to the Zara box, which like I said, I've never ordered from Zara online before and the boxing is so cute so when you open it like not everything is in plastic bags like usually when you order online like everything is in this tissue and like folded so nice so i think i ordered like 11 pieces and like i said like this is a lot of just like staples a lot of like pants and basic tees so right on the top is a lot of the basic tees so just a brown one, really cute details, like um, raw edges, cool stitching. A black long sleeve, obviously fall, winter. I tend to put him in a lot of long sleeves when he goes to daycare because I don't want him to overheat in a sweatshirt or be too cold in a t-shirt. And this one is a 
cream colored with like a design that has hippos and alligators on it and long sleeve cute like drop shoulder all of the Zara stuff is size 3 4 um, I find that their stuff shrinks up a bit and I just like his stuff baggy like I want it to fit for a while this one's pretty cute just like a plain black with like a big happy face on it I think Hayden will like this it's a bit different but it's cute next is a couple pairs of pants so these are just like a tan jogger and these are size three to four he has some size one to two Zara pants that fit him like right now but I wouldn't have like bought size one to two again right now because I know that they're not gonna fit for that much longer so that's why I did three four this is a gray pair of like textured actually both of these have like a very nice texture So I think they'll have some warmth to them too for the fall and winter. And then these ones, they said that they were extra long. So I actually bought these ones in a one two. Cause that's what I find. I find that the Zara pants are kind of short and they're almost just like a legging. Got two more pairs of pants still. These are another pair of like leggings with little animals on them this will be really cute with like just like a plain shirt on top because like it's a pattern bottom same with these another pattern bottom i just couldn't i love these all too much i couldn't like take any out of the cart they were so cute these ones have like a little kangaroo pocket in them and i love this olive color and i was thinking like some a plain top to go with that i got this like cream colored sweatshirt i love little like sweatshirts like this on him and they're like baggy and so cute uh another long sleeve this is a waffle knit this one actually looks pretty big so I hope this shrinks up a little bit or it's just something he'll fit into in the future in this little box I got a three pack of t-shirts these are like a really good deal so $25 for three shirts a tan one A blue one and a little striped one and then the last thing in this box is this little like jacket um, I was kind of contemplating whether or not to get this I think like this is a little bit different we wanted something a little bit more plain but I think it's super stylish and he'll wear this like over top of t-shirts as a coat on like lighter when you need like a lighter coat so yeah I got a lot from Zara I think I got 15 pieces from Zara for around $200 like that's not that bad their prices are pretty good they tend to have pretty good sales in January so if you check out their stores but yeah oh I wanted to show you guys what boots we plan on buying um, I plan on picking them up from a local shop here that sells like high-end kids clothing that I actually used to work at when I was younger um, but they are UGG and they're not a bad price they're like 65 bucks or something um, and so he'll wear, wear those when he's not like playing outside and then I will go around the house too and show you some of our staples that he already has like his winter boots and his snowsuit and just a couple things in his closet that are still going to fit him coming into this season so i wanted to show you guys some of what i already have in hayden's closet that are basics that he will still continue to wear throughout this fall and winter um as you can see from like the haul like we really like like plain clothing um 
and a lot of these are just like basics and everything can be like mixed and matched together so that makes picking outfits a lot easier so i have everything laid out here so i'll just turn it around this is a sweatshirt and i love putting him in sweatshirts with like a skinny jean or a legging um and this is from like a small shop here in my city and i have one that says mama so we can match and then these two items here, this gray sweatshirt and this plain black t-shirt are both from H&M. I love just going to H&M and clicking basics and picking stuff from there. Their t-shirts are my favorite. They come in like a two pack from their conscious line. They are so soft and they wash really, really well. So I love the H&M t-shirts. This is another Zara hoodie. This was from his grandma and we love it. It's like a baggy fit, super cute. This long hoodie, I think is like a, yeah, it's a size two. Um, it looks really cute with a legging and we love Mickey Mouse. So I got that at Target when he was actually quite small and we were on a trip. Another basic that I like to have in his closet is a romper so this is just an all black bamboo cotton romper really good for chilly days so i know that he doesn't have any wind or a draft going up his shirt or anything i love these jeans for him i don't put him in jeans that often but uh these were from his grandma and they're his first zara jean and he's a pretty thin boy and the zara jeans seem to fit him the best so it's like a skinny jean and these are size two, three. These ones are black denim. We might need a pair of like blue denim jeans for the winter, we'll see. And then last but not least are some coats that I wanted to share. Hayden goes to daycare, so we need to make sure that he has practical coats for daycare and stuff. This was a gift from his grandma. It is like a fleece lined jacket. So that'll be really good on like more chilly days. This I picked up from Old Navy Clearance a long time ago. It's a bit lighter than the dinosaur one, um, but nice fall color. And then this is his winter stuff. I got this last year. It's a Patagonia winter coat. So he wore it last winter and it'll also fit him this winter. Size two. And then this I'm hoping is going to work for this winter. I got it second hand last winter. It's a 24 months, but mountain equipment co-op fits big. And yeah, I'm just hoping that this will fit for this whole winter. And I showed you guys the Uggs that we're getting and our favorite winter boots are Bogs. So they say they're good up to minus 10. Um, they do have an even like more winter one, but we figure that these are good. We're not going to go out for very long in anything lower than minus 10. Uh, they're easy for him to put on, and I think that they look cute. And I don't even feel like I talked for that long, but I feel out of breath, and that's because I am pregnant. <laughs> um, I should be doing some baby hauls and like baby must-have videos coming up too so subscribe to my channel hope you like seeing Hayden's fall winter haul of clothing and some of the basics that he already has uh, if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I make videos all about family and lifestyle and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel I'll see you in my next video bye